Okay guys, so in this video we are going to be talking about an alleged major plot detail that relates to Avengers The Kang Dynasty and Avengers Secret Wars. And this being how exactly the recently rumored reveal of the Squadron Supreme from Loki Season 2 will tie into this entire film and the arc. So if you are not familiar with the Squadron Supreme, I don't blame you. They're not the most popular in Marvel Comics, and the simplest explanation is Marvel's multiverse evil version of the Justice League. It's really the best way to explain them. Superman, you have Hyperion. Then of course you have a character like Dr. Spectrum. You have Nighthawk. Do I need to tell you who Nighthawk is a riff on? You of course have a character like Power Princess. Again, there's your Wonder Woman stand-in. So again, you know, they've been in the comics for quite a long time, since the early 70s, if I'm remembering correctly. And they've had their place in Marvel's history, being tied to events and characters and things like that. Now, the one thing we've recently heard was the fact that the Squadron would be appearing in Loki Season 2. And that they would somehow be tied to the bigger Kang overarching story. But this news goes a little bit further than that. Allegedly... People have already figured out and know what the plot is. We're going to get the establishment of the Squadron Supreme in Loki Season 2, and the big reveal will be that Kang has essentially assembled them from another multiverse and kind of almost like groomed them to be the perfect evil version of the Avengers. That's why they are a Supreme Squadron. They are essentially his squad, his hitmen. And then Kang is going to use them to attack the Avengers during the Kang Dynasty, but also he's going to be using them in Loki Season 2 and, of course, Secret Wars. They would be central villains to this bigger plot that's playing out and also obviously manipulated by him to be literally exactly what he needs them to be because he knows that the Avengers exist and they will be trying to stop him, so why not build a supreme version of of the Avengers, which is the Squadron Supreme, and have them on his front line before they can ever try to get the Kang again. And to me, this honestly sounds pretty awesome. Um, Again, it's simple, but the Avengers films need to be simple. That's the beauty of them. You go in and see an Avengers film. If it's your first one, you need to be able to understand what's happening and simply understand it. This is a perfect, simple plot. Oh, evil Avengers fight the good Avengers. Okay, oh, they're called Squadron Supreme and are led by this guy who assembled them across the multiverse. Again, it's a little simpler than having to explain so much more and try to go in depth on it. And it sounds pretty awesome if it's true. So if this turns out to be true and this is what we're going to be seeing, this honestly is pretty cool and I am all in for it. This sounds like a perfect use of the Squadron Supreme in my opinion. And then who knows, maybe they rehabilitate by the end and then you can do their own thing in the MCU as their own project. That would be kind of cool. 